All right, so we're starting with our second meeting for the Google Educator Group of South Texas. And I am the host for today. I am Mr. G, Carlos Garza, my teacher at Juarez Lincoln High School, La Jolla ISD. I am the GEG South Texas leader. And my Twitter is at EduGoogDroid. Maggie, you want to introduce yourself? Awesome. Okay, so there's a few things that I want to start covering, which is uh, attendance for this meeting. And let me see if I can find the link real quick. On the chat, on the this meeting's chat, I'm going to post it right there so that uh, we can sign in. And it's just uh, your name, G Suite domain, and Twitter handle. The Twitter handle is like a unique identifier. That way I know who is who in case you decide to change your last name later. Not that you will, right? <laughs> yes, it's on the chat. If you look at the right hand, top right hand side, you might see a, a little chat symbol with two little people. Okay. All right, so we'll have that as the attendance. And if somebody joins in, oh, okay. So yes, not on the not on the agenda chat is what I meant to say. Okay, so if somebody else joins in, I'm gonna have to post that same address over and over. All right. Um, the next thing on the agenda would be our gig. So let me get the forum over here and I'm going to share my screen for this portion. Your entire screen. Share. Okay. So you should be seeing my screen, right? Okay. Okay. So for anybody that is new or anybody that has been with us for a while but is not necessarily new, you probably have not seen this section right here that says, if you're new, introduce yourself, or right here that says introductions. And some have already, and check this out. Maggie, you are in. Let me admit Mr. Mendoza is joining us. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Hey, it's an awesome meeting. Okay, so let's see. It looks like there are... I'm there twice. Interesting. Okay, so... Um, if we look at the agenda, I'm not sure if you have it there. Okay. Do I have another request? There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. There it is. So, yes. Yes. It's all good. It's part of the show. Okay. So, on our group there's a introduction section and if we look at the introductions uh, you will see alfonso right here or fonts uh, here's his introduction and uh, our latest member maggie this is her introduction all right so and um that's one of the things that some of the members may not know about this. And um, another thing that I want to talk about in a bit is going to be the members only section. So let me open that one. 
I'm not sure if you've seen this section before. There's actually a map here. So, Alfonso, looks like you saw this before because you're on the map. Okay. And uh, But um, I don't think everybody has seen this map yet. One of the things that I have here are badges. Let's see. I have covered map. Badges, yes. Badges is next. Um, where is it? Badges. Uh, so one of the things that I, if you can see the badges here, if you click on a badge, you can see who has earned it and how to obtain it. And notice that some have a little star next to their names, and that's because either you introduce yourself or uh, you had you introduce yourself and are on the map. Now, something tells me that I should have both the badges and the map public, but I don't know if I should. Uh, the map doesn't really show much other than if you have a website and your Twitter handle and city and state, if I'm correct. Oh, but because it is a map, it might have like a very detailed location as to where you are. So let me see. So if you actually put your address, it will put you on the map exactly where you are. So I'm not sure we should have this public. Um, me, I didn't put it where my house is. I put it on the intersection of uh, 107 and 23rd, which is very close to my house, near Club Fuego. <laughs> Yeah. So should we have this public or leave it as members only? Okay. Um, yeah, it's uh, fairly safe in the sense that it does not show the address other than it's not safe because it pinpoints you if you actually entered your address. The address is not required. I only put the intersection instead of my actual address. So, but um, as uh, Alfonso mentioned, or Fonts, as Fonts mentioned, um, it's better if we leave it members only. So I think I'll leave that one alone. Okay, but the <laughs> with <laughs> no, yeah I'm, I'm i'm ready for the break so i hear you so yeah um forgot where i Oh yeah, badges. <laughs> okay, so badges. Um, yes, should we have the badges public? Maggie, anything to say? Yes, uh, that's one of the issues with the uh, maps, uh, going back to the maps, uh, that it could point to somebody's location if they enter their address. Uh, unless they don't enter their address, then it would be in the middle of the city, for example.
Uh, if you go to the bottom, it says next. That could be also a nice solution. And okay, uh, yeah, if you're looking at my screen right now, you're gonna see that it says you've already responded, but if I click on edit, I can change that information. So add, okay. Yes, if I go to the map, uh, I need to refresh mine. Let's see. I see Maggie. Oh. I see Maggie here. So let's. The members, if I go to the members on the home at the very bottom. Huh. Are you logged in with your what's it? Ah, okay. That probably could be it. Awesome table will need your okay. I see Alfonso. And I see me, Alfonso. I don't see a picture on you. I just don't see Maggie on the map. I'm not sure why. Oh, I might need to do some magic behind the scenes. It was, it's been on the actual Google Sheet. So I'll um, be sure to fix the Google Sheet and hopefully that'll work. Okay, so point on the agenda, things to do. Okay, so that's gonna be a difficult a difficult one to uh, populate automatically. All right, so to move on, the badges, we said, yes, it's a good thing to have them public. And um, I'm not gonna have the maps public yet because I'm not sure why it's giving me such a hard problem trying to get everything populated automatically, one. And the other one is I want to make sure that all members know that I'm going to have the map public, so they should change it to their home address. I'm mean, sorry, their work address.
and I have already updated the form. So it says work address as the description or near home street crossing. So they can choose wherever they want. All right, so next thing on the agenda, let's see, let me go back up. There's a direct URL if you wanna go directly to the forum. Sometimes it's difficult for me to look for the forum, uh, especially because I'm in several. So the one that uh, all three of us just happen to be in the same one. Well, twice, which is ours and the trainer one. Okay, so the forum.soutx.us. Yes. Um, uh -huh. I have the trainer, the basic one. I have the North America and I have the Latin uh, let me look at my favorites here. Uh, favorites. Google for Education, Trainer, North America, and Latin America. I mean, all those three. Uh, yes. For example, este Centeno, what's his first name? I forget. Federico, see. Si. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad you got to meet him. Okay. Yeah, by the way, Federico is from Colombia. All right. I think it was 26. No, no, 26. That's, um, that was uh, UTEC. So it's 24. Episode 24 with Jennifer Scott, Luis Pertuz, Federico Centeno. And it's in the episode. Apparently, I didn't put it on the notes. I guess I forgot that part. Bad on my part. Okay, but uh, yeah, uh, Federico Centeno. All right. Um, going back to the homepage. If you go under home, there's a meetings section and there's a button that says previous hangouts. I want to have the actual videos here eventually, but for right now, if you click on that, you will see the last video we recorded. Uh, I'm not going to play it, but for right now, this video will be uploaded today. Hopefully it's uh, approved by today and will be ready by tomorrow. Underneath there's a calendar. Oh, wait. Apparently, I already did that. Okay, so the videos are here under the calendar. Why did I put it under the calendar? I'm not sure. I should probably have the calendar as an agenda, small to the side, and the videos prominent. What do you all think? This is, if you, I'm not sure if you're looking at my screen. Yes. So. Okay. There we go. The actual slide. And then there's the, um, under home, there's meetings. And under meetings, there's uh, the calendar. And then there's the videos. What I'm saying is that I should have the calendar as an agenda to the side and the videos more prominent on the left-hand side. Okay. I think as the videos are populating, you know, the live right now, I'm just going to 
Okay, so leave it like this for now. Okay. All right, so we'll play with that later, but um, here's the calendar. It's public. Anybody can see it. Um, show all topics. Okay, so I'm not sure if you know of this little trick. I put it twice right here under... If you're looking at my um, page under conversations, you can click on that one or at the top right, it says show all topics. And it's just easier to look through these topics to see which ones are pending. So right here under introductions, I have one introduction and well, one new uh, message. And it's uh, by, by Fonts saying, welcome my tech sister, blessings. So from there, you can see actually perfect timing because that way you can see why show all topics works in this case. So that's awesome. All right. Uh, next on the agenda, show topics, uh, meeting time change. Okay. So we're voting to change the time because not everybody likes the 430 time. And uh, there was a concern about there's a lot of people doing duty at that time, so they cannot do it for time for thirty. Uh, I'm guessing this person was in high school. Uh, excuse me about that. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. All right, so I put uh, some times if you want to vote. Uh, there's uh, four options. Keep it the same, a little bit later, or late. And looks like late is winning. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's uh let's see what else I have. And that's it for me. I'm going to move on to Maggie. You're next. Um, 
Yeah. Promote. <laughs> that's awesome um especially uh, i like that uh that it's very chromebook specific because uh, there's a lot of people think that Chromebook is just another testing tool. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So one of the, how was that? Yeah. Hashtag create with Chrome. Awesome, thank you. All right. Um, one of the things that I liked was um, Fonts. Uh, he shared something with, uh, what was it? Oh, today you shared a, a map. Yes. Yes, go ahead. Yes. Okay, cool. So we can clear out some video. Now, in this one, you will no longer have access to the auto ID that you have from the Mac. When you initially try and log in, they're going to ask you, you know, to sign off and confirm you've been using the phone and all this kind of stuff. So just like with Bella Cam, I'm going to share here. I'm going to use this one ID. I can see who's coming through. So from my colleagues or so on and so forth, I got over 500 browsers that I had access to now. So the way this works here is it pretty much 
much do we need cinematics with the Google Lens? So um, real easy to do. I'll just kind of walk you through my project. And I did share a tweet. So I thought that this would be the initial starting screen. And then what you can do is let's go ahead and pick the Roman Colosseum. And we'll go there. And so what you can do is you can go ahead and use some of the tools here. You're awesome. Okay, so that was awesome. Um, that's something that I wanted to put out there because something that I just learned about because of you today. So that was pretty cool. All right, and uh, the last thing, um, something that is interesting for for us trainers, it can help us to help others learn about Google with this simple tool, like taking it extremely slow. It's the getting started with Google. Have you seen this one before? Okay. So I'm going to show you, first I'm going to talk about it real quick, and then I'll show you a little hack. It's uh, every Tuesday you get an email with the topic of the week. And, for example, they start with Google Drive, Docs, Classroom, Forms, Slides, sheets, drawings, and then finally, sites. And some of us may be a little anxious about waiting for the next week. So what I did is, it's real simple. If you look at the address, it says week one. All right, so check this out. I'm going to... Instead of uh, week one, I changed the one to a two. And then changed the two to a three. And voila. You can just go through the whole thing if 
And instead of it taking you eight weeks, it'll take you one week. That is, if you have, like, this would be perfect for this uh, winter break if this is the purpose of this hack. But normally for teachers that are busy, one once every, I mean, one Tuesday a week will be perfect. I need all the staff and 48 GL students to report to the cafeteria, please. Uh, custodians to the cafeteria, please. Custodians to the cafeteria. Stam and 48 GL students to the cafeteria. All right, and uh, oh, one thing is that after you register, I think you need to register first, but uh, I had a problem trying to access lesson eight for some reason. Uh, week eight wouldn't work, so it may or not work, but for the most part, it's working right now. So something to look into is just change the week number. All right, and uh, that's it. That's all I have. Anybody else wants to share anything else? Awesome. Thank you for being here. Merry Christmas. Why not? It would be awesome. We can combine it. That way, there's more exposure for the group. I'll do that. Okay. Uh, hopefully, both of you already signed in for attendance and... <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Thank you so much for being part of this. Will do. Likewise, have a good one. Goodbye. All right, I meet up during the break. Have a good one. YouTube, bye.